My name is Daniel Westcott, and I am the director of the Friends Against Apology Center at Texas State. And where are we right now? We're actually at the multipurpose complex in, on Freeman Ranch, and then we have a outdoor decomposition facility uh, on Freeman Ranch as well. The, the grounding purpose for this institution and what you're doing, is it to provide that information for law enforcement? Are you just doing pure scientific research? What is the... No, we do both. So we will um, obviously provide that services to law enforcement. So if law enforcement has a um, individual that they're interested in estimating the time since death, we will assist with that. Um, and then a lot of times what we can do also is because of the fact that we come out and collect data every day, is we have long-term um, longitudinal data over years that we can actually go back to as well. So we can look at you know, different scenarios and even things like different conditions. So let's say you have an individual that has diabetes, is that, and could that be a factor? Well, we can go back and look at that where we would never probably have enough individuals at one time to like do a big study. Okay. Uh, the other things that we would do is, you know, for example, wrapped in sheets, um, you know, because the, if like a cotton sheet, for example, is going to act, act as kind of a wick and kind of soak up some of the moisture and cause it to dehydrate faster. But what you want to try to do is, is have some kind of baseline information about what's going on and then alter a single thing to look at how that affects it.